Okay, for this demonstration, we're doing vertically troweled epoxy using the metal illusion system. Um, what we have here is already been pre mixed, um, and inside of this is the, the uh, metal illusion epoxy. There is approximately six teaspoons of silver spur. There is about three quarters of a cap of blue hornet super stain, and there's a mere drops of the orange torch. Um, if you're trying to go for a bluish kind of uh, you know oceanic color or something like that, just one extra drop of orange and it ruins the whole thing. So very very little. It's extremely concentrated, so don't go bump you know dumping it in there. Um, but this this total mix here is about 36 ounces. So if you wanted to scale it up, you have the numbers. Um, what we're going to do is right now we only have part A in here. Oh no, they, they actually they've been mixed. It's part A and B. We're going to add an epoxy uh, thickening agent to make it the consistency of really heavy batter or uh, trowelable concrete type consistency, something that we can get that we know is going to stick to the wall. You can add as much or as little as you want, you know, just as long as it's not sagging. So he's going to start mixing now and then we're going to come back when we're ready to trowel. Um, we've already mixed the product as you can see, um, we'll try to get a close up of it. It has Really good hang on it. The verse, you know, it doesn't sag down. It's not pouring out of the bucket. I could probably turn it upside down, but I won't. Um, be very, very careful when mixing the thickening agent, which is why we mixed it off camera. You have to wear masks. It's extremely, extremely potent. It, it is so, uh, it's so light. It just creates a dust in the air. And it just kind of clouds up. So we mixed it. We're back. You do have to move very, very quickly. Um, any epoxy in mass will start to boil right away. So you do have to get it out. If you're doing an entire wall or something, obviously we would have two or three people getting it spread onto the wall. And then you can always come back and, and finish it and put your texture into it, but you have to get it out and spread so that it doesn't start to boil. And obviously you can do it in virtually any color. You just use the super stains to get whatever color you want. We should also mention we pre-prime the wall using the nose and primer. But this process can be done over brick, tile, drywall, I mean virtually anything. Create a waterproof surface, you can do it inside the you know, meat lockers and things like that. Surface with denatured alcohol to use it to sort of lubricate the trowel so you can skim across it and then create you know any kind of trowel effect or wavy effect or whatever you want. It does also, because it cuts the epoxy, it also adds a little bit of the that that effect that you get when you spray alcohol and epoxy, that kind of uh, dispersion effect. And it does highlight and low light colors that are in the epoxy itself. Mixed another batch of the um, the epoxy filler, um, and he's going to be trialing this on now. There's a, the, right now the color is what was the color? Oh, it's blue hornet super stain and silver spur mica. So he's going to rub it down first. And spray it. and then when he trials it on, the blue is going to fill in where the epoxy is now, uh, the black primer is now showing through. This 
so much for it.